So let's get into the actual family then. <laughs> Which live in this massive bunker. Dip's way, Dip, oh, Dip was shaded out there and I was like, why is he shaded out? But it's, it's because you made it a cat hangout and a dog hangout and haunted Rin. Ringall. Look at these. Look at the treats she put on this house. Ringall, explain yourself. Not only did she hide the thermostat. Look at this. Haunted. Haunted. Just as my whiskers. <laughs> it's been six months. Oh my god. Okay, right. No, we need to go. We're going to play this household. Jesus. Look at them all. Look at them all. Also, look at this little bastard off at a coffee shop. He's, he's at home now. Yeah, he wasn't at home yesterday. Oh, select a sim to play. Jesus, there's a question. Let's go. We're gonna go play Sarah. <laughs> Rin just... We let Rin make all our houses and she, she uses it for, for, for vengeance. For a cat that we picked up when we were still living with a bath and a bed just in a garden. I'm going to go really quickly and I am going to go to the bathroom and make a coffee. So I shall be right back. She left it on pause. I did. I thought it was going to pause when it zoomed in. But it didn't. So let's pause it. Hope no one has died. Uh, I wonder what sticker shit dickery they'll get up to without supervision. The child is going to wander off into the woods and be eaten by a wolf. It's <laughs> watching two trains about to collide and you can do nothing to stop it. Um... <laughs> Sheer chaotic energy radiating from seeing an unpaused Sims game screen and being powerless to stop whatever happens. This is the most ancient form of torture. <laughs> oh, oh lord. Okay, right, listen. She's doing really well at her job. Uh, this is our beautiful bunker house. Yeah, you just, you're at home now pretending like you haven't been fucking out gallivanting across the neighborhood. He's just making some whatever that is. Okay. We have some, what is this? Late for work? Go to work, Sam. You have not got promoted enough to be laxing around not going to work. He's a getaway driver. He's really struggled to get past getaway driver. It has taken him almost his entire career to get past getaway driver. Because he keeps getting, oh, look, did you see that dump his performance just took because he was late? For fuck's sake. Sam's responsibility range is in, is in the range to earn the irresponsible trait. Guys, it's so bad. He went to work like two minutes before the end of work. <laughs> God damn it. Oh man, okay. Um, the best way to improve career, per career performance is going to work with a positive emotion, completing the daily task and maintaining high reputation with coworkers. Right, we have to work on this because he's gonna die before he gets to max out this career at this rate, right? You Did you just shit yourself in the kitchen steak? Seriously? Some manners. Okay. Mean interactions not started yet. Can we do mean interactions with a toddler? Because at this point, ruthless. Ruthless, Sam. He's old and he don't care. He's taken no prisoners. I think the dead... I think the dead people said something. <laughs> Check the notification wall. I think one of the dead people has said something. Right, so that's Sam being irresponsible and bad at his job. Tag, you're it. Sarah's talking to a frickin' robot. Sausage gained momentum level. Lucas got engaged to Chip. Chip to Lucas. No, there's no dead people on here. There was a robot. That's a kid. <laughs> Snake is me. Oh my god. Sausage. <laughs> right. Mean. Uh, go away. There you go. Tell a toddler to go away. This is some interesting music we're listening to here. Just started. Can we tell him more? We're not going to be mean to Bumbledore because we love Bumbledore. Uh, nag, at, uh, nag at him. Let's spread the burden. Let's talk to the one that shit itself for a minute. Mean. Uh, yell at that one. Oh, okay, you're bothering me. <laughs> uh, Chip gets a... Yeah, Chip. I go to the shower and Chip got engaged. Yeah, and his boyfriend moved in and they upgraded their house. You missed a lot. He moves fast. <laughs> Listen, when you find someone that isn't as scared to talk to you when you're in the gym wearing a giant rabbit suit, you have to lock that down. Has he got green glowing eyes? The shit, he has cat eyes. He legitimately has cat eyes. They all have glowing eyes, 
but the, he is the only one that has actual cat eyes. So he's got teal. Sausage has got like that bright blue. Um, but yeah, if I can get down close enough, Stick has got legitimate cat eyes. So this is Stick and this is Sausage. They're not twins. They're just brothers. One of them is older than the other one. Let's just check which... Oh no, today is... Which one's the purple one? Today is Sausage's birthday and we have not... I guess cheese isn't quite as weird then. <laughs> it's a family tradition. That face. Look at both of their faces. One's like, mm-hmm. The other one's like, uh-uh. <laughs> right, so it's the purple one's birthday. The purple one. We're at the point. Dip. That's so irresponsible. Are you kidding me? You're trying to burn the house down? Did you just go to bed? You're spraying monsters under the bed. Okay, I'll give you that. But seriously, resume toasting eggs. Clean that up. It's got a name, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's got a name. Listen, where's Brant when you need him? Where's Brant when you need him? Solve five cases. He's gonna, we gotta get him promoted again. We gotta get his up. Remember he got promoted last time to captain. We're two away from the top of his career. There's like lieutenant and then there's chief. He's gonna be the top of the police career. So that should be good. That should give us enough reward points to buy a couple more of those potions. But first, why are they all purple? They're all like seriously focused for some reason, which is good. Not gonna lie, I'll take it, but listen. Okay, there's so many kids going on here. What the heck? Sarah, can you change his nappy? Is that what's wrong with him? Did he poop? We need to work on Sam, Brant, and Dip's career. And we need to get these babies sort of in some better state to age up. Because they're gonna age up and they're gonna be like, my childhood was shit. And to be fair, it was shit. But... It'd be better for us if they did not think that. So, <laughs> we need to see see what we can do about that. <laughs> it's kind of giddy. It's not the purple one. Okay. Look at that. Brandt is the hero to the rescuer. He's okay. When is he working next? In two days, right? So, he has two days to just help around the house, which is fine because he's about to bake a birthday cake. Brew herbal remedy? Are you kidding me? No. Let's not do that. You need to cook. You need to make a white cake, spooky cookies, chocolate chip cookies, man, he, cheese eyeballs. He can make a lot of stuff. Zombie cake, strawberry cake, blue confetti cake. Man, he can make a lot of cakes. Apple pie. Holy crap. He can make so much stuff. Roast chicken. Right, let's just make a blue confetti cake for his birthday. Brant is so fucking pure. Listen, one of them has to be. One sim in this house has to be pure. And it happens to Brant. <clears throat> uh, Alright, so. You have work in four days. This is the thing as well. Like, he only works two days a week. So we have no real chance to get his stupid uh, thing up. Can you just get the money, please? Thanks very much. Thanks very much, Sam. Go get the money and then... Ah, uh, be mean to your daughter-in-law, I guess. Threaten her for money. What? I didn't know what was happening there. I just dived into her. Yes, they have. <laughs> he's been leveling it. Yeah, Brant's, Brant's, uh, he's a handyman to have around the house. Okay, so where's Salsa at? Let's just, he's happy. Look, he's having a good time. He's reacting to his first snow. Oh, he's going to go outside and play in the snow. His performance at school could do with some work. Let's not lie. He could do with putting some work in but let's go upstairs okay let's send him to the toilet use the toilet good boy where's his bedroom this is his bedroom right okay so he can just can you just do your homework where is your homework do you have homework do it there you go that's gonna help that's gonna help the situation sarah's fine uh dip is fine i guess look he still has that machete in his bags and it still bothers me you guys these guys live in an industrial waste center. They live in a bunker. It's really cool. Do you want to see their bunker? Let's do a tour of the bunker for anyone who does not yet know. This is <laughs> Sam Jones, mob boss extraordinaire's family home. He's already going to rob a bank Monday to Friday. Um, so yeah, let's go. We'll start at the uh, we'll start at the, the the ground floor, right? So you come in. You actually come in around this side. This is the actual front entrance. So you come in, you've got this nicer little family area. You've got uh, Brant's serve and protect sign on the wall. 
His grandson has a, is a machine, has a machine, a machete. That's, that's all I need to know. Yeah, there's a reason he took over the family. Um, so they've got these like, security doors. They've got this little kitchen area. It's nice. It's all good. There's this secret bookcase though, right? Uh, and if you go in the secret bookcase, there's another high security door. And if you go through the high security door, you come to this staircase that goes down. And if you go down the staircase, you come to this room and there's another high security door. And through this second high security door, there is the dot, the, the, I was about to say the barn. What? Look at Sarah. Oh, hold on. I'll go look at Sarah in a second. So Sam has a bar down here. He's got his, uh, old books he's got this wanted board he's got some you know uh, champagne bags of money we got our baseball bat up against the thing there in case anyone comes in we've got our mob wall of fame got some more booze over there we got some needles on the table here some other you know blueprints and equipment and stuff that we might need for doing the crimes some dollar signs some atms bags of money bars of gold lockers you know just bags of gold We've got a second little bathroom down here. And then in here we have his office. Wanted posters. This is a bulging suitcase of money. He's got some files on there. He's got, <laughs> I like this extra touch. I didn't notice that. He's got a knife of, a rack of knives on the wall. Oh, he's got some wanted posters. It's very cool. It's all very cool down here. It's exactly what the back room with the coin looks like. <laughs> so yeah, this is Sam's little sort of, that's Dip's touch, yeah. That dip, dip out of the knives. That's where the machete came from. It's just his favorite one. What the shit is she doing to this? That's illegal, Sarah. You're not allowed to shake babies like that. Put him down. And Jody made the coin. <laughs> right, and then upstairs. If you go back upstairs to the ground floor, if you go up another one, we've got a bathroom, um, the children's two bedrooms. If you go up another floor, we've got uh, Brant and Sam's bedroom and another bathroom in there. Sarah, please. <laughs> She's embraced the boy in the kit. <laughs> and upstairs on the very top, we've got um, Dip and Sarah's room and another boy's room up here and a bathroom and the treadmill and the scout board and different things like that. So yes, basically, it's a beautiful house. It's, it's awesome. We're gonna do it. You're gonna do what? Gonna, gonna make a coin. Oh god, terrified. Okay, right, listen. Where, what were we doing? Uh, okay, right, Sarah. He's evil, and his evil is glowing. That means somebody's miserable. <sighs> Look at Brant. This, it's so messy in this kitchen. Brant's having to, like, make this cake on the very end of the... On the end of the bar. I will, um, yeah, no, I think I have a Rhea Sim. I have a save with all the, with a lot of the coin, with a lot of the WoW characters in it. That does already exist. Okay, what are you doing now? Where are you? One, you, that is not your bed, Sam. You can't just sleep wherever you want to. Right, listen, you need to go to the toilet, right? Then you need to sleep. Then you need to get up and you need to work on your job. Look at all Brant's stuff as well, by the way. Look at, Brant gets so much stuff from work. This is like, who is it? Somebody in Hubert? Claire and Hubert or something like that? Or Karen and Hubert? Also selfies because it's calendar with, you know, servicemen. It's got his files, more files. Oh, just so many awards because he's such a great policeman. Right, go do that. Go to sleep and whatever else. He's going to die at some point, so we need to get him promoted, like, super fast. Sam is priority number one, because he's going to die. By the way, guys, we also have a whole bunch of strangers in the graveyard. So, there's Bumbledore, right? This is Bumbledore's grave, which is fine. Then there's this random girl that died in the, in the police station. But we have another one in Brant's bags right now that also died at the police station. Where is it? What's that? Columbia's. Where's the urn? There we go. There, another guy that died in the police station. Just People keep dropping dead in the police station and then they get left there for ages and we feel bad for them so we bring them home. We bring home dead people out of guilt. Uh, can we make trolls in The Sims? Is it possible? I've seen people make um, Twi'leks. You could probably make a troll. 
Okay, so neither of those have work. He does, though. Dip does have work. He absolutely has work. When is his job? Two days. God, nobody's going to work soon. Right. He's doing his... Go to the toilet then. Dip, you nutcase. If you need to pee, then go to the toilet. I don't understand these sims at all. Look, go to the toilet. You are you are capable of doing that job. Then go sleep, right? Don't worry with Sarah. We don't need any more accidents. Uh, Rin, can you make trolls? Who's that? Who's sleeping? Sausage. Where's steak? Whose birthday is it? I think it was sausages. <gasps> they ate the cake. I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. God damn it. God damn it. He's very sad because he's exhausted and he's cold. Wagga, wagga, wagga. And you're angry because you're tired. Oh my God. He could probably make trolls with CC. Brant needed it for his dad, but <laughs> make trolls with a few downloads. Sacrifices had to be made. Oh god. Well, Brant, you're just gonna have to come and make yet another cake. All right. Well, I guess you can sleep first. I guess we will do his birthday on Sunday. Clam chowder. Who the heck made clam? Brant made clam chowder. Okay. All right. Whatever. It's fine. Who's even still awake? Homework complete. Good job, salsa. Now go sleep. Where's your bedroom? Is this your bedroom? Sleep. In fact, no. I'm going to make this his bedroom. Claim. Sleep. There you go. Not in that one. Brandt, what are you doing? Get out of your grandson's bed. How about that? Dancing? Dancing? You just... You're just going just gonna to go dance at 8 o'clock in the morning. I mean, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, can you, I mean, I guess eat it because otherwise it's a waste. And then can you put that away and put this away? And then can you make another cake? Like I swear to God, come on. Don't eat the cake this time. Listen, we can't, eat. let's make him a chocolate cake. You can't take your eyes off them for like two seconds in this house. Everyone is asleep except Brant, which you know is fine. Put the clam chowder away. Good. Now bake a cake. He's awake making his grandson's birthday cake at 8 o'clock in the morning. It's so pure. Yeah, well, to be fair, if he hadn't eaten his grandson's birthday cake yesterday, he wouldn't have to make his grandson a new birthday cake today. <sighs> What's that? Is that a random cat? What was that cat? Oh my god. Rin! Rin! Look at this fucking cats everywhere. Kia, cat, work for, starts in about an hour. Flea markets, can we just lock door for? All cats. God damn it, Rin. <laughs> just this for me. Can we adopt him back? <laughs> Get out, cats. Are they locked in now? Guys, don't eat the cake. Just... Cat is going to eat the cake. Why did they get in? Did those cats open the security door? Get the cats off the cake. Are you serious? Get off. Stop it. Can you stop him? Oh my god. Add a birthday candles. Stop eating the cake. Oh my god, stop it. Shoo. Shoo the cat. <laughs> oh my god. Power to stop this cat the, the second birthday cake. Brad, do something! <laughs> Please stop him! Incoming 
text message I read online about this performer that plays at the flea market. Apparently they're the next big thing. I want to come check if it's true. Listen, it is your nephew's birthday. Ron <laughs> is just like sigh. Can you stop him? Like please, can you just this cat is literally eating the cake. To hope maybe he'll not notice. Don't you dare, don't you dare, I swear to god, don't you dare. <laughs> Rin! <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I, I definitely didn't add a wedding topper. Make a wish, remove candles, celebrate more choices. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's gonna be fine. I just need all these cats to get out. <laughs> just need all these cats to get out. Shoo! <laughs> Shoo the goddamn cats out of the house, please! They're getting- oh my god, there's so dogs in here! Rin! Why? Why do you do this to me? Lock door. For. Oh my god, everyone- no, we can't lock door for everyone but household members. Lock door for all dogs. Lock door for all cats. <laughs> Justice. <laughs> Can we get them out? How do we get them out now? What's happening? You want to nap? Can we just? I'm. I'm just. I'm just gonna lift my. I'm just gonna lift them out. I'm just gonna lift them out. <laughs> oh no, that's my kitchen character. Cat, please, please, please. <laughs> Can't even lift the goddamn cats. <laughs> Rin, you ruined me. Please stop. <laughs> How do we get them to leave? Please shoo the cats. Get out! <laughs> oh my god. Can they leave if the door is locked? Unlock the door. Okay, right. Can we now? Can we shoot them? Shoo, cats. <laughs> god damn it, Ren. I swear to god. If you lock one door, does it lock all the doors? What is that? What is on the floor? Small pet poop. Good God. Stop pooping in my house. Shoo. Get out. Get out of my house. <laughs> right, listen, before someone eats the cake, we need to get we need to get the boy down. Where is the boy? Which one is it? It is Oh. Oh, sausage, I think. Okay. It's this one, right? No, don't you no, get up. Just get up. Just wake up. Brant, what's wrong? Potato Jones is wondering if I want to come over. Not right now. Not right now. Okay. Pick up. Oh my god. Why is there so many cats in this house? <sighs> I swear to God, if they eat this cake, I'm gonna be so mad. Get off my counters. Help blow out candles. Here we go. Okay, right. Sausage. Please, friends. Don't eat that. Don't you eat that cake. God damn it, cats. I swear to God. <laughs> what if she, can she eat the cake? Like, can will the cake disappear if they keep eating it? I'm sorry, sausage. Please ignore all the cat mouth marks in your fucking birthday cake. Stop it. This is not a feast for cats. This is a child's birthday cake. Get out of my house. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, oh my god. Stop fighting him. You did this, Rin. 
You did this. If he has a terrible birthday, it's your fault. <laughs> I give an ice birthday cake who doesn't think he's stupid. He gives time to six cats. He thinks pre-chewed cake. Oh, can I? Can I join the good timers? Yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? <laughs> No, no, don't go to bed. Don't go to bed. Don't clean up to You need to Oh my god. How is no how are you not getting this? You need to help him do this before these fucking cats eat it. Please, Brant, please. Please help. No, stop it. Get away from the cake. Ren, you ruined Sausage's birthday! <laughs> oh my god. I have a sausage blow at candles. Oh, please. Okay, he's gonna pass out. Brand's gonna pass out before he can even get sausage to the cake at this point. <sighs> no, it's fine. Look, Sam's coming to celebrate as well. Thank god. Look, you can have a birthday with your grandpappies. No, he's not coming to celebrate. He's coming to eat clam chowder. It's fine. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be alright. Did you blow him out? He's it stinks. Who stinks? Sausage aged up. <laughs> Select an aspiration and the trait. Just tell sausage it's a new French way of decorating cakes. <laughs> Look at his boundless creativity real back. Look, he got one in everything. This was pathetic, you guys. This was pathetic. Let's get our random generator because uh, this kid, honestly, right? Random generator for a child. <clears throat> Randomize, let's go. Rambunctious scamp and an insider. Okay. That's a motor, right? Rambunctious scamp and an insider. So he wants to be in a club, right? Sausage wants to be in a club because he doesn't feel like he belongs. Because we can't even throw him a fucking birthday party. I love that his name isn't spelled correctly. <laughs> I love DMs. <laughs> Listen, that's the creative French way of spelling it. Oh my god, okay, now your grandfather's gonna go pass out. You have achieved your birthday cake. Look at you, look at you. Why are you wearing pants and, and weird yellow slippers? Do you know what this means, friends? We have another cast. We have another cast come. Do you want a piece of your cake? Do you want to have a bit? Do you want to take a piece? You're allowed a piece. It, some cats have eaten it. I'm not gonna lie. But that's okay, right? It's gonna be okay. Oh no, not you. Him. Right, okay. There you go. Have a piece. Is he wearing Crocs? Yeah, he's basically wearing Crocs. It's fine. It's fine. Why are all these dogs in my house? The dog is just running round in circles at the bottom of my stairs, glitching through the walls. Man, Brooke, it's Brooke. I wish fucking Chip had adopted Brooke. Get out of my house. How about you get out of my house? Rin, I swear to God. <laughs> the American way we take a name and just completely fuck it up. <laughs> it is, it's so wrong. It's so wrong. Silas is here like, oh, cake. <laughs> just gonna get myself some cake. Oh, good lord. He's gonna fall asleep. He's gonna fall face down in his cake. <sighs> Moving on. Why is there poodles upstairs? Who is this dog? This place is infested <laughs> with animals. I'm gonna call animal control. Can we have them all put down? <laughs> you, want, you want a war? You want a war over Mare Whiskers? I'll bring a fucking war. <laughs> we will kill them all. We will have Pet cemetery in our backyard. That is what we will do. That is what you're asking for. Whew. I'm gonna be curious. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Brand, you just need to go and sleep, my love, okay? Just need to go and sleep. Who is Mare Whiskers? <laughs> right. Rin, you get to tell you get to tell Mark. Catch Mark up on who Mare Whiskers is and why he's caused so much trouble. Give yourself a pep talk. He's very sad, you guys. He's very sad because he's cold and he's sad because he's grungy. Justice for Mayor Whiskers and Stray's one tonight, 49. Are you sure, Kitty? That's a lot of justice. I'll need to carry out. 
why are we crying about misspelled people wearing Crocs? Mayor Whiskers is the most amazing cat ever. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna go mass genocide every stray that I see. <laughs> Basically, Mark, when we started this expansion, we had no money. So we were living in an empty lot with like a bed and a bath and it was a disgrace. And this cat walked into our lot one day, right? And he had this like bright green bow tie and he had a top hat and he was called Mare Whiskers. And we're like, oh, he's amazing. We have to have him. So we befriended and adopted Mare Whiskers. Um, another, maybe an hour uh, bathroom. We befriended and adopt him, adopted him, right? And um, can I, uh, Sam, you're there. So can you just do, you know, flirt with self, Sam, please. Flirt with self, Sam, really? So we adopted Mare Whiskers because he was wearing a top hat and a bow tie. And then he turned out to be a real little monster. He would like eat the food, he would sit on the counters, and no matter what we did, he was just always getting in the way and he was super loud and he was just really annoying, right? So, after a while, when the house started to get full up with children and we started to be tight for space and he was still super annoying, I put him up for adoption. And they have never let me live it down. <laughs> He would eat and sit the absolute monster. <laughs> oh. So anyway, <laughs> where is he? Where is the, the newest one? Here we go, right? This is sausage. <laughs> this is sausage. <sighs> Are we keeping his hair like this? Are we keeping his hair like this? I don't I don't mind this. I think this is fine. He's got it. He's got it all around. Let's no, let's lose the glasses. The weird glasses can go. I love his hair like that. All right. <clears throat> we'll keep it like that. All right. Seems right. So let's just fix his clothes up. Okay, so his casual every day. That's actually fine. I feel like that's fine. Um, what's his formal like? Mmm, let's sh maybe change the jacket color. How about that? What's sausage's style? Exactly, right? What's sausage's style? He was... He was the one with the purple hoodie. With the cat on it, I believe. Bright blue was better. The bright blue was better, you think? Oh, that's nice. What about that? Sharp. Changes every day, though. Okay, let's change his every day. Now, he had... He had a, the purple hoodie with an animal on it. So, what do we think? I don't see the purple hoodie. He's a rambunctious scamp that likes to be in clubs. <clears throat> the robot shirt is quite cute. Oh, look, we could have a monkey one. Or stripes. Right, let's see. Give him some... Converse. The stripes are quite sweet. Can my can my sim take sausage on as an apprentice to be the second greatest party goer ever? Oh, a stylish boy. That's quite cute. I like that. I do. I think that's cute. Right, formal. I think that's pretty good actually for formal. Can we change his boots? Oh, nice. I like that. Okay. I like this kind of boater jacket that he's got going on here. Uh, athletic wear. Oh, no. This is this this is a disaster. This needs to change. These things are... I just don't like them. That's a decent formal. 
It's pretty good. Right, we need to get him a different t-shirt though. What about it? Like a tracky hoodie of some brand? Purple was the colour that he had on his other hoodie. Let's go with the... Oh, how about this little marshmallow monster in the purple? Give him some trackies. Not that colour because it doesn't match the grey. Nor does that really. <clears throat> <laughs> cannibal marshmallow let's go for cannibal marshmallow I'm trying to find him some how about that is that alright just pretty standard pretty standard athletic wear I like the nod to the to the purple in the hoodie now he had the little like uh he had a onesie he had a onesie bed suit thing do you remember with like dinosaurs on it or something so we could go with we could go with giving him a onesie again Wait, which kind of onesies could we give him dog bones get rid of the slippers uh dog spots looks like a dork <laughs> We got a lizard one, we got this cow print one, we got these nice purple splodges, we got a cat one, we got some blue stars. I like the blue stars, I'm not gonna lie, I like the blue stars. My vote's for blue stars. Or we have these animal ones as well. Oh, we could just give him a grown up dinosaur one. <clears throat> Is the music doing weird things for anyone else? The blue stars looks good. Dinosaurs are great. Oh no! We'll give him. We'll give him dinosaurs. Right. Party. Oh man, this kid had style. This kid had style. He was. He may be the best one that's actually come out randomly yet. Are we changing his party? Oh god, why has everything disappeared? Are we changing his party? Or are we gonna leave him in this? Because this is pretty suave. It's pretty swish. I like it. He definitely has something going on there. He's definitely a Malax type. Malax type, you know. Uh, swimwear. That's that's fine. That's standard. Standard swimwear. Hot weather. No. See this? However, this is not going to work. We can maybe keep the shirt. A Malax type, you know. <laughs> You're some better mentor this child. <laughs> You're going to meet him in a coffee shop at 9 o'clock at night. Right. Hot weather. Give him some khaki shorts, maybe. Do we maybe go for a white instead of with the with the red? Oh, how about that? They were bad. They were bad. They had some kind of jacket tied around them. Ooh, there's good. I like that. We give him some of these. What about that? For warm weather, I like this this top hatted giraffe. That's pretty swish. That's pretty swish. Mm. Maybe change the, the shorts. What color shorts do we think? It was this that he had on. Navy looks good. Okay. Pretty swish. Right, last one. Oh no. Oh no, friend. That's not good. What kind of jacket? Is he a jacket guy or is he a separate sky? What have we got here? Are any of these in a purpley color? Let's go for our, our base operatives here. What are we thinking jacket wise? What about that? That's pretty neat. Uh, when did I get a sub? Oh yeah, Panda gifted you a sub. You might have missed it. Welcome, welcome, cat. How are you doing? Panda. Panda gifted you a sub earlier, Simon. I don't know if he's still here. It might be a bit late for Panda. Let's check. Yeah, I think we're a bit too late for Panda, but if you give him a shout in the chat, he dropped you a sub earlier. 
I like this jacket, though. I think we can keep this jacket. We need to do something by the bottoms, though. <clears throat> All right. What are you gonna give him in terms of trousers? Just give him some jeans, maybe? Do we go for black? Brown? Oh, I kind of like the, the, the washed out gray. The washed out gray is good. Oh, the washed out blue. Hmm. Choices, friends. No longer stream boss. I know, to be fair, they were doing a lot of things with crazy, crazy amounts of bits earlier and it all, it all got a bit mad. It all got a bit mad. Right, let's see. What color boots we give them? Do they have a purple? Do they have a purple? Oh, that's like a tartan. That's pretty neat. Oh my goodness, Bean, thank you very much for the cheers. Oh my gosh, I need to pick boots. Is there purple ones of these? That, no, of course there's not. That would be too good. Irishness intensifies. <laughs> Look, see, you, you filled up that cup again, Cat, and and Jack-Jack just bombed it all out straight away. You guys, honestly. Oh, what about those? Those are pretty nice. It's pretty nice. I kind of like them. Oh, I think that one goes with the jacket better. Are we good with this? <laughs> Payday for bring it. All right. Jack's clutch steel. <laughs> Yeah, I like those boots too. Honestly, I need to get myself a new pair of those boots because mine are done. All right. Sausage. Sausage. <laughs> has been updated. And my last bits for the bit cup. Look at that one lonesome salt. Look at him go. Oh, I would be super mad if he bounced out. He didn't. It's fine. Instagram influence sausage. He could be a style influencer. We could make him. The new career. The new, there's a new career that was brought in with the free patch called Style Influencer, where you basically can like redesign people's looks. We could make Sausage a Style Influencer. I want Sausage Jones to be a Style Influencer. Fashion icon. Yes. Yes. Let's do it. Sausage. Except he's really particular about how you pronounce his misspelled name. So you have to say it with like a French accent. Cause he's that kind of guy <laughs> it's gonna be good like he's just a kid we have just we've signed his life away but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter he needs to he needs to upgrade to a big boy bed so uh no the dip that's not your bed where is he can you just claim this bed please um and maybe just sleep in it because you're a wreck you're a wreck of a human because your childhood has been trash i apologize for that <laughs> 1.3 million followers brant deals with <laughs> so sad. <laughs> it's gonna be epic. It's gonna be epic. There's poop on the front. There's poop outside my house. There's fucking dogs all over my house. I'm gonna go mad. Look at this. Get... I'm gonna start killing them, Rin. I swear to God, I'm gonna start killing them. Shoot, get out. You can't just be in my house. Get off my table. Get out. Get out of my stuff. What is going on? Why is there? There's sick dogs now. What is this? There's this giant floof. Get out. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. What, what is your name? Titsu Hesway. Get out. Just get out. Shoo. Please get out of my house. I don't know how to say that word. Go on a Twitter rant. <laughs> Loses 100k followers in 10 minutes. You can't. Look at the ways random. Just. They're everywhere. I swear to God. I'm going to go <laughs> There's just. Rin, this is this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Pause. Pause. Time out, guys. Time out. Can we just for a second? One, two, three, four. That's our dog. Five, six, seven. Seven. There is seven strange dogs in our house right now. <laughs> it's cold outside. That doesn't mean they can come in here. 
<laughs> One of them is sick. <laughs> I think more than one of them is sick. Oh my god, look at this, this is crazy. Salsa, stop befriending the dogs, Jesus. God damn it. I think he's like, I think that's one of his traits though. Oh, you can be famous as a child. He's a dog lover, yeah. Look, oh my god, you guys, oh, be famous for pet sniffing. Right, listen, right, listen. Let prioritize here. Prior Sam is not famous, he should be though. He needs to go to the toilet. Oh, you guys, they're eating the cake again. Why is there so many of them? Ralphie, Ziggy, god damn it. God damn it, Rin. <laughs> My stomach pain is coming back, no. Sniffing, salsa can be the we rate dogs guy. <laughs> right, listen, he needs to go to the toilet. We've done 50% of this. So let's go in here to this computer. Can we do a mean interaction on the computer? Let's see, where is socialize? No, we just do mm. spam money requests. Not to your family, they know you. Salsa has a brand as well. It's all lining up. What? Okay, listen, it's, it's gonna be fine. What's wrong with you, Sam? What is wrong? You flour and bloosh maloosh blursh. You're just angry for no reason because you're a crazy person. So, okay. Uh, troll the forums. Sims really does need to get closer to reality. You've no idea, Mark. You've no idea. They're good dogs, Brandt. Uh, your family are the perfect people <laughs> to ask for money. Angry old man. He's just an angry old man for no particular reason. Look, what are you doing to that? He didn't beat it up. Are you your father's son or what is going on here? Sarah, you're home. Save us. Also, get the mail. Level two in the race. He's tired. Oh, God, they're fighting again. Get out of the house. Sarah has collected everything from the mailbox. That's good. Right. Can you go to sleep? Right. Oh, my God. Right. Dip. Whew. Work in 13 hours. Secure votes. He needs to go and secure votes. So we need to do that. Brandt is not, Brandt is working in 14 hours. That's fine. We need to go with him too. Sam is not working in four freaking days because he never goes to work. What are you doing? Are you just yelling at talking with friends? Okay, crazy. Okay, crazy. Do you have co-workers? Who are his co-workers? Right. Which one of these is co-workers? Friends, household, co-workers. So we can't get to know his co-workers. That's not going to work. So we're down to mean interactions again. Where are those children? Can we berate the children some more? Ah, we can be mean to the pets. Get out. Be mean. Get out. Go away. Be mean to all the strays. Stop talking to yourself, Sam. Come on now. Right, where is Dip Jones? Dip Jones is hungry, so he's going to get leftovers and then we're going to take him to secure some votes. Look at this giant dog. Get out of my house. God damn it, Rennie. Seriously. <laughs> this is ridiculous. There's a chorus of cats. You're just going to eat cake. That's fine. Um, right, you need to shoot this cat, please. Shoot. Right, are they all out? Oh my god, are they actually all out? See, they listen when Sam shoots them because they know they know he will shank them lock door for all pets lock door for all pets eat that chip jones no we're not going to a club chip right now it's 8 p.m on this well actually 8 p.m on a sunday is probably a fairly normal time but still Savani's spirit is fading away. Savani's connection to the physical world is growing weaker with each passing. Who is Savani? Khalid? Ren? I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Oh 
I just got the CPS warning. Oh, did I just get the CPS warning? Steak is very hungry. Be sure to feed him before he's taken away. Shit. Steak. God damn it. This is right. Where, what is she doing? Uh, give food to Steak, please. Give him some animal crackers. It's fine. I don't know who these dead people are. Dip. No, you come back here. We're going to go places. You Did you just come here without the... Just, just come here without the baby? Go get the baby. Put steak here. Right, there, see, no, look, it's fine. We're feeding him. That's not, that's not a child's chair. Dip, that's not a child's chair. But okay. Ha, who, Hajar's spirit is fading away. Who are these people? Who are these people? Right. We're gonna feed Chip. Feed the baby. He's starving, he has no food in the desert. Just give him, give him some fine listen it's fine can we travel we just we just need to go somewhere right now we just need to go no we're not bringing anybody we should go home by ourselves <laughs> i wonder if they can from the downloaded lots of what came from the the downloaded lots the new expansion okay dip is gonna go to new crest Right? To this main street Simney to try and secure some votes, right? He's gonna he's gonna convert all you guys to right wing politics. It's gonna be a good old time. The ghosts that are fading away. I have no idea where these ghosts are from. It's probably because Rin made our house haunted. <laughs> <laughs> if he manages to convert Jess in game, I demand you kill her. Oh, nice. <laughs> Quite likely. The sun. Like, like, son, I've just had three Sambuca shots. You gotta join me in there. <laughs> I'll start riots. Look at this beautiful little um, shopping district that I gave you guys in um newcrest i did not make this i got this from the gallery let's not get ahead of ourselves friends but it's very pretty right it's very pretty stop pause we're looking at stuff dip just hold your horses right please so we, in here we have like a little cafe diner next door we have what is this like a toy shop then there's a cinema there's some outside areas there's like a little diner cafe place then across the street there is a bar and there is some kind of space games, like a gaming center. There is a boutique and another bar. And upstairs in the bar, there is like a fancy area. And then like a little formal dining area, or like dining, dining, a little formal sitting area. Upstairs in the boutique, there is just more boutique. I feel like that shouldn't be unpainted, but probably don't have it. Upstairs here, there's just some seating and a bar and loads of laptops for gaming and an observatorium on the top. Nice. That's my favorite one. In this bar, there is just another bar and a bedroom on the top because why not? Why not? Over on the other side of the street, there's the little uh, cafe place which has a bar above it like a cafe bar and then nothing up there the cinema has a gym above it the toy store has oh just like bathrooms for the gym and for the bar that is above the other place and then on the very top of that there's just another little seating area up there as well so all in all it's adorable Okay, where is Dip? He's very, he's not, he's not having a good time. Political career, flaunt wealth. You are just make a trickle, <laughs> make a trickle. Money phone, what is that? Make it poor, $10,000, oh my God. Uh, money phone, let's do that. I don't know what that is. Um, 
flaunt wealth practice singing clean out spoiled food please don't carry around spoiled food uh protest for simoleons for everyone right that's what we're gonna do make it trickle <laughs> we're here to secure votes friends so we're gonna protest where is everybody it's only 10 p.m you'd think there'd be more people around than this i'm stealing that line i'm gonna make it trickle for a tenner I think it's like a hundred simoleons or whatever. Yeah, clean out the spoiled food. Let's. No one's gonna want to be around us if we smell of rotting food. I am pretty sure. I can carry spoiled food around if I want to. Dip is absolutely dad in line for popular joy on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Spot on. All uh, right. He gets fame for for doing this, guys. He's gonna be famous. He's gonna be a famous asshole politician. Can you just put it in one of these bins, friend, and stop? No, maybe not. That was loose change into the crowd. He's got he's to go to an actual sink to wash it up. Where are we gonna go? We're gonna go. We're gonna go here. Please don't tell me you're gonna do it in the bathroom. Oh, look, who's here? Someone whose name I cannot see. Oh look, he's doing it. He's he's protesting for simoleons for everyone. There we go. In the cold. Nice. Where is their people? Devon. Hello. Devon. Funny. Cheerful introduction. Spin it as environmentally friendly and part of his campaign to create renewable energy by creating his own compost he needs to go to the coffee shop everyone was there yeah exactly everyone in this whole neighborhood was at the coffee shop who's this elsa burgenson hello elsa burgenson stop protesting come on on the road to fame oh look we are on the road to fame could you just come get those two girls and see if we can See, we got four. We got four fan points. That's an interesting outfit you have there, friend. Quickly, quickly, Dip. Let's go. You gotta secure some votes. You gotta hustle. I don't know why that coffee shop was so popular. Hello. Is she coming back? Nice. She's gonna come all the way back to talk to us. Is she? I have no idea. I think she's been in the fat thing for a while. The Burgensons. The crack is in the coffee. Right. Let's see. Friendly, political career. Right. Promote politics. Let's go. Debate politics from the right. Secure vote. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Elsa. She does kind of. They are kind of out there. Friendly, cheerful introduction. He's sad because no one was listening to him protest, and now she's gone and left. Come back here, ladies, please. Ladies, please. Come on now. Pause. Okay, listen. Listen. Debate politics from the right. Okay? Let her know where you're coming at. Promote your policies. That's important. You gotta have policies. Secure her vote. Devin Wyman. Oh, she's a teenager. Oh, man. That's probably not good. We probably shouldn't be chasing teenagers down. I didn't even notice. Devin seemed really receptive when Dip promoted his policies. Political action should be easier with this sim now. Oh, Devin is unconvinced that Dip will make a good community leader and refuses to vote for him in the upcoming election. Try promote promises or make empty promises. Promote policies or make empty promises. Oh, Lord. Just promote some policies. Let's try that, you know. 
to ask for advice because we're bummed out because no one was listening to us. And then... See, she's really receptive to my policies. Uh, oh no. I was unsuccessful in swaying Devon. Oh, damn it. We're gonna... We're not gonna get this one, I don't think. Man, this is hard. This this political stuff is hard. I need to go to bed after you open five hours. Oh, good night, Rin. To be fair, I don't think we will be here too much longer anyway. I would like to get us one or two votes so that we can get somewhere with their careers. 